just recently we see uh, the first team going into the second round. The Cleveland Cavaliers just swept the Pacers, and the, there's rumors that if Paul George will leave Indiana, and what are you guys think? What do you guys think if he'll leave or will he stay? I'll just say it. I think Paul George is gone. I'll think, I'll see, he's saying bye bye. Saying bye bye. bye. I'm saying he's saying bye bye. What team do you think he's going to? That's a good question. I think Mark Mark can answer that. Mark, you say. <laughs> I, I guess I guess before we go straight to Paul George, I think he's a great player, but I don't think he's like create like that of a level in terms of the the best in the league. So I want to give a shout out to the team that swept them, which is the Cavs, because no one expected mm-hmm. this to happen. Everyone, I I on my article that I wrote, if you guys catch us on PinoyWeebly.com, I thought Cavs was gonna get out at six, but they literally swept them. Like it was some of them were close games, but we saw like literally LeBron James carried the whole team in terms of the fact that everyone thought that Cleveland was going to get limited in the first, second round because of the fact that their defense was just atrocious in the, in the last few months in the league and everyone thought what's happening with the Cavs, right? And they turned it around so fast that everyone thought that, hey, they're just back to the same team that, you know, that won the championship. So I want to give a shout out to them before we get to the fact that LeBron James is really that good of a player. And it, did, and it came, and it was kind of in line with your prediction, yeah. because also Cleveland was supposed to lose a couple of games, yeah. and they turned it around, they turned and it around. They came back with the big... Because no one, no one like, gave up on the Cle- Cleveland, have yeah. Cleveland and, and the second half when they started like struggling a lot, because yeah. they knew when, they, when they're going to play in the playoffs, they're going to turn it around, and they're going to play very well, mm-hmm. so there's no, they're not going to have any problems. They, they were, the first game, they could have lost that, they could have been down one, and that game where they were down 26 points, so... Shout out to you know the Indiana putting up a fight, but shout out to the Cavs for turning it around. But in terms of Paul George, uh, I do think that he's going to leave, mm-hmm. and um, I'm looking. You know, everyone's. I he he wants that spot. Like you've seen him, his attitude was, I should have taken that shot. And I think um, that aligns with uh, you know that kind of personality aligns to a team that has all that kind of glamour and that style. And so I see him going to the Lakers or the Clippers, literally either one, but I feel mm-hmm. like the purple and gold just kind of shines brighter that is, than the Clippers. He is, a, uh, he is from LA, yeah. and, but to be honest, I'm leaning more into he's gonna get a good contract or even pick up his player option and then go for a free agency the next season over. Yeah. He might just stay in Indiana, but there is a good chance he might leave. I don't know if it's the Lakers, it might be a, a, another team. I you you got to put it to, into perspective that he's been into a couple of Eastern Conference Finals early in his career, and the fact that he went, he suffered that you know injury and coming back from that, I think he's at his prime of his career, and he's thinking about the fact that hey, I've been to Eastern Conference Finals, I never got out past it because I also I also had to face LeBron, LeBron. The co- every single time. If I go to the West, I get to be where you know where I live. And people didn't know actually that um, he actually bought a house in LA uh, a couple uh, just a summer ago when he was with Reggie Jackson. They were supposed to rent up, uh, I think, a, a house, and then he ended up buying it. So he's basically set up. We should get a picture in, of that house. He's basically set <laughs> up in LA, Facebook. and and, he, I, and I think he's gonna go there just because of the fact that they have a younger core, and they have a pretty good draft coming in soon uh, because of the fact that they played really horrible this season. Yeah. Right. So young stars, Russell is there. You got Brandon Ingram, and they're gonna get a good pick this coming year. So, what else? Where else is he gonna go, right? But I think that he might lean more towards the Clippers just because of the fact that it's more playoff-ready team than the Lakers. It all depends mm-hmm. on what happens. It all depends on what his decision is. This mm-hmm. decision and if Blake Griffin leaves, but that's like a different conversation. Let me just throw in a random stat, though. Paul okay, George, go ahead. Here we go. Paul George, zero for fifteen. Zero for fifteen when he's trying to take a shot for a go-ahead in the last five seconds. Who's your source? Um, you can check that on pinoycrossword.weebly.com. <laughs> All right. Awesome. I yeah. always felt like Paul George was, was could have been a good two-way player, like a Kawhi kind of player, and uh, but but what's the but? Uh, I don't think he. It's not clutch. I just felt like it's he's not clutch. That's, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> that was simple. a random stat. I really yeah, just. I like this game. This game is smooth, and I just feel like you know, uh, there's just a co- a lot of intangible things that comes with basketball when you're a franchise player and a leader, and it's something that I feel like. He's lacking as good as he is. As yeah. of, you know, Kevin Durant's favorite player is uh, one of them is Paul George. So like, but there's just some intangibles at him that I feel like he needs to be with someone like a Chris Paul, who is a leader, mm-hmm. a proven leader and a proven you know um, point guard that can actually you know make everyone better and can set them up to success. I think that's something that he's lacking. Okay.